Okay, good morning. Right, off for a little bimble. This is the first time out on the uh, the Thruxton since I bought it. Bought it, um, went to get it in November. So uh, it's been a couple of months. It's, uh, it's the new year, January 2022. Yeah, we went to go out yesterday for a little bimble. Uh, weather was great but cold, but the forecast said it was going to be great today, a lot better. Anyway, it's damp, not perfect. I was hoping to get this out uh, in the dry, but anyway, off to Salport, off to the seaside. Catch you in a bit. Here we are on the uh, the RS. Since I bought it, it's been in the garage, tucked away. It's been ACF 50s. I've, I've done XCP, as it called. So I'm I'm cool going out on it with the. Uh, even though we've had sort of a lot of um, salt here in the UK with the gritters out with the with the cold weather. So I've literally just sat on it and looked at it every day in the garage. So uh, yeah, it's the first time I've ridden it since I bought it. Um, we're not going far, we're literally just going to Southport, uh, meeting up with my mate John, my brother Andy, and uh, yeah, a few cups of coffee on this nice Saturday, sorry, Sunday morning. Anyway, let's see if I can remember how to ride this thing. Oh, it does, it feels nice from the get go. Compared to the KTM, it's just sleek, it's narrow, it's a lot lower, a lot more sporty in terms of the sort of the position on it. The clip-ons, obviously this fairing just gives you a great sense of uh, excitement and just looking down on this whole area, just love it. Unlike the KTM, uh, it doesn't have any quick shifter or blipper, it does have ABS, it does have ride modes. Oh, I just love that sound. So it's got a uh, twin arrows on the back, it's decatted. Yeah, sounds ace. Yeah, as I was, the road's a bit greasy as you can see. Anyway, I'm just going to take it easy today. Uh, I'm a bit nervous to be honest with you. I've got these Metzler Rotec RRs on. They're pretty much slicks to be honest. So uh, just taking it easy. The roads are really greasy. Uh, but yeah, still nice to get out on the bike. Sounds ace. Just get used to not having the blipper and quick shifter. I keep on going to change gear and uh, get that resistance on the lever. But that, uh, that's one thing I really like about this bike. It's um, the gears just slot in nicely, like quite. What's the word I'm thinking of? Precisely, but without sort of fuss. Really, really nice. Bike feels narrow. Pegs feel high, in, well at least high compared to uh, the GT, KTM GT that I've got, but uh, as I said this is uh, a cafe racer so you, you know it's going to feel a little bit more compact, uh, I like it, I like it. I said it's not a bike I'm going to be touring on a lot, but it's going to be, I was going to say nice days out in the sunshine, <laughs> and here we are, but yeah I said the last time I was on it was the day I picked it up when I bought it. So you know, you know, it's like when you pick up your first bike. You're not really taking in, even though I did, you know, a couple, a good couple of miles on it. This will be the first time I've really got out without that sort of new bike day excitement. So uh, just trying to get a feel for it, watching these uh, metal grids. One thing I, I tried to do but I didn't get round to is actually taking it to case suspension uh, up here in the northwest. Um, I take all my bikes in there, even though the bike this feels planter, the suspension feels nice and plush. Um, it, it, it's just good to know that it's set up for your weight and height, not height as much, but your weight. As I know, this has got a big show of forks on the front, uh, fully adjustable, and uh, those two rear O-lins on the back, well, again, all fully adjustable. So yeah, I'll... Uh, 
when I get out one day in the, the next few weeks I'll get up there and uh, get that all sorted. Pardon? Sounds, eh? Does it? Uh, it pops and bangs away. What? It, it pops and bangs away. I've not really heard it do that, but when you're on the throttle, it's nice. Yeah. It's yeah, oh yeah. yeah. It feels, have a go later, it feels silk, silky. There's our Andy. He was going to come out on his uh, KTM Enduro R, the 690. I think, this, I think that was the first one in the uh, the garage this morning, so it's the GT today. I must admit the GT is the bike to for today with the, with the roads the way they are, but as I said, we're just going for a bimble. I'll be surprised if we do 50 miles today. It's more about catching up with John, I haven't seen him since uh, Christmas. And uh, yeah, having a few hours out. The weather forecast is meant to be good, I'm just looking at the sky up there. There's a bit of blue sky, so it is meant to brighten up and dry up a little bit, so uh, we might be lucky. The GT feels if it turns in easier, which is interesting because it's a bigger, heavier bike. But maybe that's because I just need to get the uh, the suspension at the back, maybe a bit of preload on, on the back. Uh, I actually ride my uh, the GT with a bit of preload on the back just to put that nose in a little bit, and it really turns in not lovely the GT. So, well, I hope you hope you guys are having uh, an okay January. Just one of those shitty months, isn't it? After Christmas and New Year, a bit dour, a bit drab. Works chocker straight back into that, so dead busy there. So, um, yeah, the bike was uh, a good tonic today. Here we are. God, that's a head, isn't it? Fit the neck. You need to get the barbers. It's part of the experience, isn't it? What? It's part of biking, isn't it? The sound. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right. Carousel locked away for the winter, and there's the sunshine. Hey, hey, perfect timing. And there's the bikes. Where's John? Is John there? There's John over there. Just arrived. Perfect timing. Happy New Year! Happy New Year to you! That was perfect timing, wasn't it? Really good timing. a bit worrying back there where the bike wouldn't start, I was doing everything right, it was in neutral, clutch lever was in, just wouldn't start, but so uh, I hope that's uh, not something temperamental that's uh, already showing itself.
it's not turning in as well and I'm gonna have to get that looked at and these tires are pretty much like slicks so uh, yeah just being careful the road fives I've got on the uh, the KTM are absolutely ace in, in this type of condition on the road these feel skitty at the back definitely feel a bit of movement as I'm putting the th going through the throttle Right, here we are, famous Scotch Piper, oldest pub in Lancashire, one of the oldest in the country, I wouldn't be surprised on. So that's normally Wednesday night is biking night here. They are dangerous. Those tyres are dreadful in this. Well, it's sliding everywhere. Metzler Race Tech RRs. Alright, they, they come standard fit on yeah. WS 1000Rs. They're standard on this, yeah, yeah. yeah. But in the but wet, they're just... It's sliding, I can feel it moving all the way. Track day tyres are hard. Yeah, Road 5s are f like 10 times better in this condition. Well, I'm going to, I'm, obviously, I'm getting to the ground, I'm more to the end, look at that. Yeah, you can see the flat profile on the top as well. Yeah. I'm happy with them tyres, but the sixes are just out, aren't they? The next version up. Oh. They're meant to be an improvement. Yeah. But no, then that's not nice in this work in this stuff. This looks shut. There you go. <laughs> I'm, gonna have to, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to wash it again. Okay, it's all protected anyway with HF50 and stuff, so it's fine. <laughs> 